It was high energy at National Party's launch event as the political race truly gets underway. Both major parties launched their election campaigns in Auckland over the weekend. News Talk ZB political editor Jason Walls told Kate Hawksby Christopher Luxon seemed to take a page out of the Republicans' book in America. Almost sounded like boxers entering the ring when they were introducing M- MPs. There were some comments about some of their supporters weren't giving the feedback that some other reporters thought they would, but I thought that they actually gave it back pretty well. Some in the health sectors wanting more ammo in the fight against tooth decay. Labour unveiled its promise of free basic dental care for under 30-year-olds by 2030 at its campaign launch on Saturday. I am pleased to announce that if re-elected, Labour will make dental care free for all New Zealanders up to the age of 30. Health Coalition Aotearoa claims 40% of New Zealand adults can't afford dental care, and half of these are Māori and Pacific people. More than half of teachers agree students learn different things from different teachers, even within the same school. That's according to an Education Hub survey of more than 500 teachers, sparked by concern about the open nature of New Zealand's curriculum. Founder Dr Nina Hood says the requirement for schools to determine what they teach is causing students to have vastly different educations. She says only about 60% of teachers say they teach the same curriculum as their colleagues, while 50% teach the same content, which is not even between different schools. Latest figures show 188 employers are now being investigated for migrant exploitation and breaching visa rules. The Immigration Minister last month revealed the accredited employer work visa will be reviewed. Over concerns, checks aren't being made. Demelza Jackson reports. Andrew Little met with community leaders from Nepal and India at the Sikh temple in Auckland's Takanini on Saturday to discuss the scheme. It's alleged migrant workers are paying thousands of dollars for visas and jobs which don't exist. Many have been discovered living in overcrowded houses across Auckland. Immigration New Zealand says it's received 758 complaints against accredited employers. The likelihood of being charged for drug use and possession is now about 50-50 in New Zealand. The latest Policing of Drugs in New Zealand report shows how police discretion has changed. The new approach aims to be more health-based than punitive. Figures reveal 17% of first-time offenders for drug use and possession are now prosecuted, down from 50% in 2016 and most of 2017. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.